Thank you, uh, Mr. Ch Mr. Chairman. Uh, Madam Chair, I think you obviously know, as we all do, that unfortunately our economy is still mired in almost double-digit unemployment. Uh, we've had uh, 2.6 million of our fellow citizens lose their jobs since the stimulus bill was passed almost 18 months ago. At least when I talk to people from Fortune 500 CEOs all the way down to small business people in my district, one overarching theme comes through, and you heard me mention it in my opening statement, and that is uncertainty. Uh, the head of the business roundtable happens to be the CEO of Verizon. Uh, Ivan Seidenberg, I hope I'm pronouncing that properly, has said, quote, government is injecting uncertainty into the marketplace and making it harder to raise capital and create new Businesses, the head of the U.S. Chamber, Tom Donahue, has said, quote, it is a fundamental uncertainty that is holding business back. Uh, the chief economist for the NFIB, Bill Dunkelberg, had says, quote, stop scaring us to death with all this stuff that is going on and settle down. So now, as you well know, you have inherited apparently the um, authority and responsibility to promulgate 123 new rules, 32 studies, establish seven new offices or committees, in addition to at least 19 SEC actions and reviews that are ongoing. Do you believe that uncertainty is adding to the level of unemployment? And if so, what can you do with the new authority and responsibility you have been granted to at least minimize the adverse impact of uncertainty on those who would otherwise bring capital into our economy to help create jobs? Congressman, I'm really not qualified to say whether uncertainty is adding to unemployment, but I'm probably qualified um, from my prior life to say that uncertainty isn't good for business. And 